All right, what's up YouTube? I'm Ty, and you guys are crazy. You probably already know that about yourself, but how do I know? I had you tell me your wildest stories, and some of them are just insane. I don't know how you guys end up in some of the situations you do. It's definitely a wild ride. Off rip, somebody age 25, went to an orgy and my granddad was there. I left after we both saw each other. I don't know what he did. Lots of questions about this one, but only really two important ones. One, how'd you find out about this orgy that you and your granddad would both show up to it? Is it like a Facebook group? And what did you guys do next time at your family gathering? Just make awkward eye contact with each other and not talk? Wild. Another one that isn't that wild, doing ecstasy in a club and famous rapper pulled up. Sounds like the same story every single Toronto girl has. Couple big rebel nights, eh? This person, age 22, doing mushrooms for the first time with a dude also doing mushrooms for the first time who's driving his drug dealer to sell crack in a town over. If that isn't the most mid-southwestern fan I've ever heard, where are you from? Florida? Florida? This person's only 22, too. Like, what were you doing? Were you 18 when this happened? Here we go. Age 25. When I was 18, seven years ago, I had a torn ACL and was on crutches, and I went to a friend's cottage with some of my girls for the weekend. The house beside us was rented out to a group of 10 guys that were about 25. Basically, none of them seemed to be in relationships because they were all flirting with us, classic. We had just graduated high school. I ended up hooking up with one of the guys, told me he didn't have Facebook. You guys were using Facebook back then? Is that when Facebook was around seven years ago? Meta. But when I was sober in the morning, I creeped and found out he was fully engaged and about to get married. You could have easily done this the night before. He proceeded to send me dick pics, classy, on Snap until I called him out. Seven years ago, that would have been like when Snapchat was exclusively used for that and was swiftly blocked on all socials. Now he's married with two children. Smiley face. You should have known when he didn't when he told you he didn't have Facebook. This person's 18. So just at the cusp of their wild adventures. One time in elementary school, fourth grade, I think, we went on a field trip to the aquarium. Like one and a half hours in, we headed towards the shark exhibit. And to get on this hella long and narrow escalator, oh, you're from California? Nice. For some reason, they put two of us on each stair. So my bright ass leaned against the rail and had my legs kind of crossed. My right foot got lodged between the left side of the escalator and the stair. They had to stop the escalator and the fire department, my worst fear, had to come and cut open the one stair so I could get my foot out. Rest of the class just continued on the field trip, field trip, as I went to hospital to get checked out. Lol. No permanent damage though. This one just exacerbates my, exacerbates. Man don't make me look like I don't know English. Biggest fear on escalators. I get terrified, especially when it's getting to the end. When I was a little kid, I had small feet. I'm size 11 now, 10 in Air Forces. But when I would get to the end of the escalator, I would have to hop over the little ledge because I thought that my foot was going to get stuck if I didn't go under it. You know how it like goes in and they like circle back, I guess? I thought I was going to end up stuck in that and just cycling in the escalator. This person's 15. One time about three years ago, so when you were 12, you were mugged by a guy outside Town Hall after Comic-Con. Well, that seems like an easy target you're coming out of comic-con i was in a yoda cosplay even easier i just want to know where the guy got the idea to mug yoda definitely not my wildest but it's pretty funny how many wild stories do you have at 15 what do you mean that's not your wildest story that's insane to me you getting mugged at 12 isn't your craziest story what do kids do nowadays all right this one's long bear with me <clears throat> so i'm allergic to shellfish i was hooking up with this guy and he had just got back from mexico being the generous woman I am, I'm giving him head and decided not to be a spitter because I ain't no bitch. Well, that's nice of you. Anyways, it tasted so nasty and I mean to the point where my stomach was hurting and it wasn't IBS. It was from his god awful load of, you know. I kept asking him why it tasted so disgusting. He was like, I don't know. I don't recall eating anything to cause it to be that way. Like he would know the fiends that would cause it to taste a certain way. Nobody knows that. Guys don't know that information. I was just disgusted and obviously wasn't going to get my back broken. Because <laughs> the man just got his soul sucked out of him. I ended up sleeping over, mainly because I was so traumatized and my stomach hurt so bad. I wake up the next morning and I'm still not feeling that great. 
He's making me coffee. What a nice guy. And then he goes, oh, now I remember. I ate like 24 oysters in Mexico. That's probably why it tasted so bad. What an odd number. 24. Given I'm severely allergic to shellfish, and so I stare at him like question mark, question mark. How the F does anybody forget that they ate 24 oysters? That's what I'm wondering. And then let someone swallow little children. I don't know if the two really would, you'd think about it on your flight home. Like, oh no, I better not get any of that because I had 24 oysters last night. I feel like your stomach would hurt from that many oysters. Long story short, I nearly went into anaphylactic shock the next morning and scarred for my life. Thank you for your time and enjoy my miserable story. 23. Don't be allergic to shellfish. Very long, but I promise it's worth it. My husband is in the military, but we had just gotten married. While waiting for housing, we were staying with friends that went to school with. We went to school with. This was in California. We had just gotten there from driving from Oklahoma. They live in apartments, and there was one on the military base. We got to our friends, and there were a group of people outside. Who are their neighbors? My husband and I didn't think much about it, and the neighbors across the street was asking one if she needed to take one to the hospital. We get inside and into our... Can I just not read? She's asking one if she needed to take one to the hospital. We get inside and into our room. Do I have the reading of a third grader? About 20 minutes later, the guy comes busting in because something is happening. When he tried to explain it, his neighbor wife comes into the room, completely naked. She looked like she had been crying. So my husband leaves the room so I can talk to her. Since he's naked, I look at her eyes and I can tell she's on some kind of drug, but I wasn't sure. I asked, but she told me she wasn't. But right after she told me she was an alien, <laughs> then immediately tries ripping my clothes off. So I called my husband in there to help me. But whatever she's on made her into a monster. She's just on the limitless pill. My husband couldn't get past her into the door. And he's six foot, 200 pounds, beefy boy. And she was like five, six, 120. Oh, so she just got superhuman powers from this drug? What's she on? That sounds great. Eventually he gets through and the other guy is nowhere in the house. So I run outside downstairs trying to find him because he left me. My husband and his wife in there alone. It's not just me, right? This person has terrible punctuation or something. The girl follows me downstairs, still nude, picks me up and runs. This is happening on a military base? Thankfully, my weight set in and she drops me. But your husband's 200 pounds, didn't it? Beefy boy. Sadly, head first onto the pavement, but better than wherever she was headed. Whatever happened when she dropped me basically paralyzed me. She fell right on top of me too. My husband picked me up and ran inside. Our roommate's husband, still missing. This is straight out of a horror movie, eh? My husband went to go outside, but the girl saw him, ran over to the door, and started beating on it. We thought she had a weapon, so I called 911. She also got the deadbolt broken. She's hitting it so hard. Oh, this girl's just Wolverine now. Okay. But the cops finally came. They tased her, and she didn't react. They had to body slam her to the ground to arrest her. Turns out she was hitting the door with her hand hard enough to break the wall into caving into where the door almost opened. The cops took our information and never did anything. And then the roommate suddenly showed after the cops left. Also, it turns out she was on acid and was naked because she got out of the shower. She had also stabbed her husband. What a wild night. Whoa. That just went zero to a hundred. No, like where did we start off? We got to the, the ho hotel and then the lady just started killing. Are you in Shining of the Lambs? Are you in Get Out? Are you in Us? Those people are 20. What? I was 16 on a trip to visit my long distance best friend in Oklahoma. When we both lived together in Arizona, we would get Dutch Bros almost every day. Is that like bagels? So we decided to drive 9 hours to Colorado to the closest Dutch. What a fun way to spend time with your best friend that you haven't seen in forever. Taking a 9 hour road trip to get bagels. It happened to be one of the worst blizzards in years there. Oh, and it was also the middle of winter and it blizzard. Wow. What a great adventure. Long story short, we needed to drive back in the blizzard because we didn't tell our parents we had even gone. So where did your parents think you were when you were gone for nine out 18 hours? You were gone for over a full day. Over a full day. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three quick maths. You were gone for almost a full day. 18 hours minimum. If you zoom there and back. I was the one driving and I couldn't see a fan. I eventually drive off the side of the highway into a ditch in an attempt to clear the exhaust pipe so we wouldn't freeze. That was your idea? To drive into a ditch so the exhaust pipe 
Are you MacGyver? What type of action movie did you think you were in? The wind blew so hard that the car, do car door broke and would not close. Oh, so you're just sitting in freezing blizzard. We sat in the car for about an hour preparing to die of hypothermia when a semi-truck semi pulled over and took us to the nearest gas station to wait it out. At said, sad, can't fucking talk, said gas station in which we were struck at for, stuck at for six hours, I'm just, I'm sorry. There was a man with a tow truck and a man who worked for Delta. What time is it? It's gotta be the middle of the night by this time because you drove nine hours there. You probably drove a couple hours back before you're like, hey, I gotta go in the ditch. Do you not have an iPhone? Your parents aren't worried? You didn't tell them. They still don't know where you are. One was able to pull the car out of the ditch and the other rescheduled my flight home since I missed it during the blizzard. You had a flight that day and you went nine hours to Colorado? I still can't believe all the little coincidences that led me to still being alive from it. How far is Oklahoma? That's the nearest Dutch Bros? It's like 10 hours. Did you guys wake up in the morning and make that decision? You had to pack for an overnight trip? Crazy. Blacked out on one of those pedal pubs on my B-Day in Calgary and fell off in the middle of the street. Alright Sydney, literally everyone's done that. This person's 29. I went to a small college in Norway and went to a small rural town for party. Lots of military guys there, you see? Nearly escaped being apprehended by the MP and went to sleep after Nashpol, Nashpol, Nashpiel at my friend's house. The other guy was sleeping there on the soda, sofa. My friend and I spooned and suddenly he starts touching our feet and moans. <laughs> what? We tell him to stop and I was pretty jacked on traditional Norwegian drink, coffee and 60% spirits. You might as well just be ripping lines if that's what you're doing. I stayed awake all night and kept my eyes on the creep and then we had to trek through town on a Sunday morning to catch the bus. Still have the number of the guy from the military base. The first time me and my boyfriend did anal. We were sharing a room with his grandpa and he was right next to us on a cot. You put your grandpa on a cot? What's wrong with you guys? Hey grandpa, it's nice to see you, but I put this terrible cot out. I know you had six back surgeries. This person's 31, just lived a life. My ex-boyfriend was very upset I moved on and got engaged to another man. He cont continuously tried to break us up. I caught up, cut off all contact with him. I got married, went on a honeymoon. When he came back, I found out my ex was hit by a car on my wedding day and passed away. Wow, maybe that's something like for a therapist and not for me. Somebody just said, your mother and I got dinner. My mom's happily married and respectable. This person is 22. After my roommate moved out last year, there was a vacant, vacant room in my off-campus apartment. Management filled it with a porn star right when COVID hit, spring 2020, we all remember. So I was quarantined with someone hosting literal orgies during a pandemic. Seriously? Porn stars actually just do that? Like as fun? Was it for work? Then she got pregnant with the maintenance guy's baby and moved out later that summer. She also thought someone was trying to kill her so the cops were always in my apartment. What a classic porn star story. I wonder what her name was. This person's 20. Driving down a back road with a guy I liked and his roommate. Plowed into a herd of cars. It was definitely a truck. You guys definitely live in the South. Killed four of them, casual, and totaled my car. We're dating now. What a love story. Someone said, I have some really good ones, but I'm scared you'll steal those for some kind of made-for-TV movie. There's anybody who says that doesn't have that good of stories. Why you always lying? Before I can get around it. So I'll just tell you the first time I did LSD. I also took it with shrooms and drank a bunch of molly water. As soon as I started tripping, I found out my grandma had died. Ended the night with a Xanax. La Mau. Yeah, you really, you should get to a meeting. That's not, that's not good. You gotta figure that out. Let's end this with a wholesome one. 17 year old. Dislocated my knee warming up for tennis. Lol. Spent two months recovering, then popped it out a second time playing golf. Probably the same girl that wears those knee braces everywhere she goes. But that's alright. After reading all these people's stories, never change. Don't drink, kids. Don't do drugs. And I guess stay away from driving to Colorado from Oklahoma in the middle of the winter. Yeah. Anyway, that was the crazy stories. If you want to see more of the stories, comment down below.
let me know. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. What do you do? Uh, sauce up on you too. Uh, you know I'm dripping, baby. And you dripping too. Uh.